In today's video, I'll be showing you how to change the belt on a 2-liter EcoBlue Ford engine, which can be found in the Ford Transit and Tourneo. Hi guys, when I'm not teaching technical training courses or tinkering in the workshop, I sometimes work from home. And when I look through the window there, I see so many delivery vans starting around. I'd say there's one every 20 minutes or so. And no wonder, considering all the stuff we order online. It has to get to our front door somehow. And for this, logistics firms like to use a vehicle whose engine we are going to take a closer look at today. The Ford 2.0 liter EcoBlue from a Ford Transit or Tuneo. These delivery vans work extremely hard and pay frequent visits to the workshop for maintenance, so it's worth taking a look at their engine. So, let's get started. Here we have an engine from a 2019 Ford Transit Custom. It's the 2.0 liter 77 kilowatt EcoBlue engine with the engine code YLF6. What's special about this engine is that its timing belt runs in an oil bath. For this belt in oil, you need our CT1233 timing belt and the following tools. Once again, I'm demonstrating the timing belt change on an engine that's been removed, so we can show you things more clearly. Before you can get started, you'll first have to remove a few parts. Remove the right headlamp, undershield, engine mounting, multi V-belt tensioner and starter motor. You have to remove the starter motor so that you can lock the flywheel using the locking tool, which will in turn allow you to undo the bolt for the crankshaft belt pulley. You also need to drain the cooling system and drain off engine oil. According to the instructions, one liter of engine oil should be drained off. I recommend completely draining the engine oil and later replacing it with fresh oil. We have a belt here that runs in oil, so oil might escape if we don't drain enough off. You now remove all bolts from the front cover. You can discard the large bolt here. It needs to be replaced with a new one, as does the entire front cover. This means you don't have to clean the whole front cover, just the contact surfaces on the engine. You then dismantle the engine mounting bracket and the crankshaft belt pulley. Screw the bolt in again afterwards so that you can set the timing. You now have to align three marks to set the timing. We have colored markings at the bottom here on the crankshaft and balancer shaft sprockets. There's a marking on one tooth here and on two teeth here. We need the two tooth marking. There are also two markings in the 12 o'clock position on the camshafts here at the top. This is where the tools are attached and locked at the top. For the crankshaft at the bottom, we have this tool with a jacked contour, which only fits in one position and is then fixed into place here. We're going to take a closer look at that right now. Once you've aligned the colored marking, you will see triangular notches on the crankshaft sprocket here and matching shapes on the tool. This means the tool only fits in this position. It's hooked into place there and then secured here using a bolt from the front cover. You then lock the two camshafts at the top by inserting the pins. You can now slacken the timing belt using the belt tensioner, lock the tensioner with the pin and remove the timing belt. Before fitting the new belt, you have to replace the bolt and belt tensioner and decide whether you're also going to replace the oil pump belt. There is a timing belt for the oil pump at the bottom here, so you might have to remove the oil sump and oil pump too. We have a change interval of 10 years or 240,000 kilometers for the camshaft belt, but there's no specified change interval for the bottom belt, just a recommendation to replace everything at the same time. You then fit the new timing belt in a clockwise direction, starting from the sprocket at the bottom, then passing it around the camshafts and finally the tensioner. You now just have to remove the locking tool from the tensioner pulley. We have an automatic tensioner pulley here, meaning the timing belt is tensioned automatically. After this, the engine is turned over four times in its direction of rotation. 
First, remove the locking tools, turn the engine over four times, and then check the timing again, reinserting the tools to do so. If the timings are fine, fit the new front cover, only tightening the new bolts by hand to start with. You now have to tighten the new bolts on the front cover and the engine mounting bracket in a specific sequence and with varying torques, as I'm about to show you now. Tighten these bolts by hand at first. Then stage 1, 12 Newton meters. Stage 2, 80 Newton meters. Stage 3, 90 degrees. Tighten these bolts by hand at first. Then 80 Newton meters, 10 Newton meters. When you come to the last bolt at the top here, make sure you use a new bolt, first tightening it by hand and then tightening it by 40 Newton meters. Last, we have the crankshaft belt pulley. Use a new bolt again here and tighten it in nine stages, as I'll show you now. Stage 1, 10 Newton meters. Stage 2, loosen by 60 degrees. Stage 3, 20 Newton meters. Stage 4, 70 Newton meters. Stage 5, 150 Newton meters. Stage 6, loosen by 90 degrees. Stage 7, 100 Newton meters. Stage 8, 300 Newton meters and stage 9 by 90 degrees. You can now reassemble everything in reverse order. Don't forget our seal of quality. Place our part replacement sticker in the engine compartment where it's clearly visible so that the customer sees you've installed quality.